It's another middleweight Ray, matchup at the Ray, Apex. Ray, Dan Tom Ray, here with Ray, MMA Dan. Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC Vegas 85 between Roman Delize and Nasruddin Imavov. Boy, does Dana White love him some middleweights, and uh, to their credit, these guys are steadily climbing up the top 15 rankings. Of course, they're trying to put out the past in regards to somewhat forgettable uh, outcomes at the very least last year. Of course, you've got Imavov with a no contest. To his credit, he was looking improved, but a clash of heads, of course, against Chris Curtis causes a no contest there last summer. But while Delete, we haven't seen him since last March in a, in a closely fought, you know, fight against Marvin Vittori where he also showed some improvements but again uh, kind of came up just short there and maybe arguably could have gone his way but either way you can count that both fighters are going to be looking to start 2024 with a W. At the time of this video the odds makers and the public are slightly siding with Imovov in the neighborhood of minus 172 with money steadily trickling in while the underdog, your underdog in this case is the leads a well he comes in in the neighborhood of plus 134. Now, I don't disagree with the spread. It shouldn't get too much wider than this, being that it's a competitive fight. And in fact, I actually don't disagree with who is favored. That being Imovov, probably for his more process-based uh, striking and game overall. More ranged weapons in the striking department. He's got a jab and a really good leg kick that should have some play. If you look at how leg kicks from either a southpaw in Vittori or even an orthodox fighter in Hermanson were able to fare against the Lidze in their fights. Regardless of outcome, those were techniques to watch for. They will be ones to watch for this Saturday. That being said, the fact that this Saturday's fight is taking place in the smaller apex of the UFC octagon there, a little bit smaller real estate, I gotta favor the more dangerous fighter, the more opportunistic fighter. And again, I tend to kind of give slight edges to the superior wrestlers or the superior submission grapplers in this case when we're talking about that small cage. Not the most confident pick in the world, believe me. But for those little edges, I'm actually going to go with the lead Zay. I think that if this wasn't 25 minutes and if this wasn't in the small cage, maybe I'd go with an Imovov pick here. But I just think the small cage, 25 minutes, a little too dangerous to be in there with a customer like the lead Zay. I'll take the lead Zay for exactly how, as well as pathways to victory for the favorite in Imovov. Check out my in-depth breakdown at MMAJunkie.com where you can find results this weekend.